good morning, everybody. My name is Priyana. I'm a co-founder. My name is Remy. I'm also a co-founder. My name is Amanda. I'm a hospitality advisor. And today, we're going to be talking to you about Popple. So coming to Boston, Remy and I were so excited for countless weekends out and nights out on the city. But we quickly realized this wasn't exactly our situation, and we were spending a lot of time holed up in our dorm rooms. And this wasn't for lack of things to do in the city, but difficulty finding them varied in email blasts, and also difficulty coordinating with our friends to all attend the same event. This, after talking to our friends about this problem, we interviewed over 300 Boston students, and a clear picture of, of this issue emerged. 80% of students feel like they don't get out of their dorms enough, and 73% find it stressful and anxiety-inducing to go to events alone. So from this problem, Remy and I conceptualized Popple, the first end-to-end so, um, -end social marketplace for students. Um, Popple, on Popple, students will be able to scroll through on any number of student-oriented activities, such as office hours and um, MFA exhibits, and we'll be able to select one that they're interested in and connect with other students prior to attending the event. Let's take Dave, for example. Dave is super interested in roller skating, and he's also super interested in meeting new people. On Popple, he can organize a casual roller skating meetup with other students, and he can also gather a group to say, go to the Boston Derby and maybe unlock group deals and discounts. So how does this actually work? So imagine you're a student with a current EDU email address. You can get on Popple, scroll through any number of activities and student events that excite you, or maybe create your own if the party or office hours that you want to attend isn't on the app. Then you can browse groups of students that are also interested in attending that event or activity. You can select a group of students with similar interests to you. Every group or Popple has a profile page, but you don't know who's in the group until you actually join it. Once you join it, you're added to a group chat where you can coordinate attending the event together. It's sort of like Reddit or Discord. It's a student-oriented forum collecting groups with similar interests, but it's focused on meeting up physically, doing an activity they all want to do. Most social media apps stop at the locus of an online relationship, but Popple is really interested in turning online connection into real-world interaction. We want to find you the next people you go to brunch with, your next study group, the next people you go to a museum with. We're really trying to find you your next best friends. So we're super excited about this idea and have taken numerous steps to validate it with our student user base. We've tested, we've created a high fidelity demo that you can see on the left and have tested it with a number of beta users. Over 90% of our beta users have had a positive reaction to the demo and have expressed interest in downloading the app. We've also shared the prototype on social media and have garnered over 5,000 followers across our Instagram and TikTok accounts by sharing the demo and our personalities. While this may sound like a small local college meetup app, it has the potential to be so much more. In Boston alone, there are 500 citywide events held per week. But these events are all having similar issues. Post-COVID, attendance is not back where it was before. And 50% of Eventbrite RSVPs are no-shows. Venues aren't using tools that cater to Gen Z, and Popple aims to change that. By market research, we estimate that we can increase attendance at, at events by 30% with our group feature. Students won't miss out on events, and there'll be more attendees since they don't have to worry about going alone, and their obligation to a group will ensure that there'll be less no-shows. Venues are really excited about this, and so far we've partnered with five, including the Build Lab and four concert venues who are interested in promoting Popple and encouraging RSVPs through Popple, along with the connection of attendees prior to the events. These venues have agreed to organize Popple, Popple pilot programs, where we can compare data from before and after the use of Popple to ensure turnout is increasing, along with gain user and customer info to ensure that our app is operating fluidly and that there are no issues with that. So since venues are interested in this, our app is, Priyana is working really hard on our app and it's in development with, alongside an external developer and we're really excited to announce that it will be ready to launch by April 1st. So within the US, there are 18 million college students and currently most of the college students have experienced some form of the pandemic. Unfortunately, as a result of pandemic, many students are having trouble reconnecting with their peers. They've been stuck in their house for a while, they experienced parts of high school or college in the pandemic, and now they're really trying to break out and meet people again. So in the US, it would be a market of $43.2 billion. Just in Boston alone, there are about 500 events per week, and we hope with Popple to increase 70 more attendees per event. 
We estimate with a 10% with penetration rate, it would be $26 million in revenue, but the total market would be $2.6 billion in Boston. One of the most difficult aspects of starting a new company is finding your place in the market. One of the best things about Popple is we've found a really blank space in the market. While we have social media apps like Instagram, Snapchat, or TikTok to make those online connections, and we have apps like Eventbrite to plan to go to events, we have nothing that combines the two. Popple's the perfect combination of combining the social aspects of the online communities and being able to go to events and form partnerships with these people in real life and hopefully eventually find your best friends. So our business model contains multiple stages. Initially, we're like many social media apps in which we're focused on user acquisition and retention. So, um, but eventually we plan on um, reaching a broad mass of users. Initially, so we're gonna have user-generated experiences on the app. And additionally, if users want to upload an Eventbrite link and use the group feature to attend those, they can do that. So we'll acquire a strong user base with these, and venues' interest will be peaked when they see an increase in turnout. With this, we'll implement a native ticketing platform on which we'll um, receive a small commission on tickets sold, along with premium venue listings, where venues can customize group deals and promotions. And these will be our primary streams of revenue. However, college students will always be able to upload casual local meetups for free on the app. So how are we gonna progress through these stages? We have taken a number of avenues to get our word out there and get initial users. We have venue partnerships where they're promoting Popple, and we're also promoting Popple on our social media. Additionally, we have a brand ambassador program where we have, six, where we have ambassadors at six Boston schools promoting Popple through ground up marketing efforts, such as handing out flyers and organizing Popple events. So once we penetrate 10% of the Boston student market, venues will see the increase in turnout and our proof of concept will be established. At this point, we'll get in more co direct contact with venues through email and content marketing. Our goal is to have a popular domination of the college event market with user-generated experiences along with venues uploading their own events. But we will maintain our focus on hyper-local college meetups, but just also provide support for larger events making Popple the true end-to-end -end student social marketplace. So we've laid a lot out in front of you today, and the question is how we're gonna actualize this over the next 12 months. Assuming a 3% conversion rate on the 100K impressions we've already developed, we hope to have 3,000 users by launch weekend of April 1st alone. Continuing our marketing efforts over the next couple months, we hope to have 10,000 downloads by August 1st. By October, we hope to have raised additional capital from BU and other accelerators that we've applied to, and use this to implement our native, um, use this to start building our native ticketing platform. By the end of the year, we hope this will be fully integrated into the app and Popple will be fully established and ready to expand to places such as New York. So Priyana and I are the perfect people to make this happen. I'm a business student in charge of the more business and marketing sides of the app. And, Pop, and Priyana is a brilliant computer science major who's doing the product and technical side of things. We're also joined today by Amanda, who is our hospitality advisor, who's provided us with a ton of information on the event space. We also have a team of advisors ranging from entrepreneurs to business executives who are meeting with us regularly and ensuring that we're on the right track. Priyana and I are first-time entrepreneurs, but we're super excited about the idea. So we really hope you liked our pitch and think it's a poppin' business idea, and we'd love to hear any questions that you have. <laughs>